Racing has been a, a dream for me. To, to get this opportunity to race, I'm willing to give everything. My name is Jeffrey Ibrahim. I'm from Johor, Malaysia, and I'm in Australia to race the GT World Challenge. Right now, we are second in the championship and we have one race left at Mount Panorama, Bathurst. The family has been always a, a motorsport fan and cars. I mean, it's not something new. It's been for generations. My great-great-grandfather had a Mercedes racer before they became Mercedes-Benz. And my grandfather raced in the Joe Grand Prix in a Mercedes as well. Proud, you know, to be racing again in, in a Merc and continuing the, the history. There are nine uh, royal families in, in Malaysia and the uh, state of Johor is the base for the Johor royal family of which Prince Jeffrey is a part. He handles himself well with people from all walks of life. I've seen him in the front line of having to carry out royal duties at home to seeing him fill his car up with fuel in a servo in Australia. He's absolutely able to carry himself with people from all walks of life in a way which honestly exhibits some of the best manners I've ever seen in a young man. Just a normal guy, you know, you see all the Instagram, you see who he is, you know, if you ever Google him or whatever and, and realize who he is and where he comes from, but when you spend time with him, as a person away from everything, he's just normal. And he loves race cars, which is a bonus. And he probably loves it here because no one knows who he is. When we went for dinner in Johor, you know, everyone recognizes, everyone's looking at him and you know, it doesn't faze him, but you know, when, when you're here, you can be just normal. Prince Jeffrey's come to Australia to enable him to carry on racing and enabled himself to, to improve as a racing driver. We have a long-term plan with Triple Eight and Joe Motorsport Racing. And it's not just racing around the world, trying to achieve wins and podiums. We want to bring motorsport back to Johor, which always had a strong racing culture. My older brother and I are working to restore the Johor circuit to help it return to its former glory. He's got long-term goals that he wants to achieve in a racing car. And we're here to, to try and help him achieve those. And it's extremely gratifying to watch him improving every time we go out. Well, basically we were supposed to have a test in GTs and then Queensland had a lockdown. The testing was canceled. A week after I got a text and RD asked me to race with him. I, I said definitely, yeah, I would love to race. Yeah, I was just so happy, you know, to finally start racing again, even though it was an XL or, or whatever. I just wanted to have fun and at the same time race alongside him. It was fun, it was something new for me. First time me seeing RD race, so it's pretty interesting to see how he raced, you know, all elbows out and really going for it, he's in the zone. He's a kamikaze out there. Well, I think it was pretty clean, the race was pretty clean. We did touch quite a bit. In RD's perspective, it wasn't him going crazy, I think the other car was going crazy. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed, you know, trying to race that thing and trying to go fast at that thing. So it's totally different, but I wouldn't say it's as easy as it is. You know, there's a lot of fast drivers out there that drove it. So it was still much more for me to learn in that thing, but I had a lot of fun. Coming to turn one, we were doing well. I was pushing, there was a car, and then suddenly, someone that drives the GT throughout the year in the XL and spin and turn one and in the gravel trap. That was quite embarrassing, but fun at the same time. Move, 
doesn't matter where it is, but I'm really pumped just to start again racing. We were doing great in the beginning of the year, Mantham was going, we had a long break ready now. So yeah, of course, just want to race again and of course, race in Bathurst.